The main event of the United States Open on Saturday will be Serena Williams playing Sloane Stephens, a third-round duel between Williams, the greatest women's tennis player of her era, and Stevens, the last American to win a U.S. Open singles title. It will be their first match in more than five years, and although both players have had their struggles since the restart of the tour, it could be quite a tussle. It will also be a timely reminder of how many black players have flowed into tennis in the age of the Williams sisters, a wave of growth that has been more evident in the women's game than in the men's game. In this year's women's singles tournament, there were 12 American players who are black, some of them multiracial and four of them recipients of wild cards from the United States Tennis Association. I can't imagine we've been even close to that, ever, said Martin Blackman, the general manager of player development at the UTA that official tally does not include Naomi Osaka, who was born in Japan but spent most of her childhood in the United States and whose family used the Williams's story and success as a template. Osaka's father is Haitian and her mother is Japanese, and Osaka seriously considered representing the United States before choosing to play for Japan. The black players from the U represent nearly one-tenth of the field of 128 women. The sport relies heavily on players from outside the United States, and some leading Europeans and Australians have been absent from this tournament because of the coronavirus pandemic. It's awesome, Stevens, 27, said. I think it's an amazing opportunity for right now to get more people of color in this sport, because you can see there are so many amazing players playing. The group includes the two oldest players in the women's field, Venus Williams, 40, and Serena, 38. It also began with the three youngest players in the draw, 15-year-old Robin Montgomery and 16-year-olds Coco Gauff and Katrina Scott. The 25-year age gap is no coincidence. It corresponds to the length of the Williams sisters' professional careers. Though there are legitimate concerns about the dwindling numbers of junior tennis players in the United States, the Williamses have clearly inspired more diversity within the sport. It all starts with Venus and Serena, said Blackman, who is black. That demonstration effect. The power of seeing two African-American girls with braids in the finals of the biggest tournaments in the world in a predominantly white sport. Just a huge impact that really can't be overstated. That attracted thousands of girls into the sport, not just African-American but all backgrounds and races. Consider that at the 2010 U Open, which Serena missed because of injury, Venus was the only black player in the women's singles draw. That's crazy, said Haley Baptiste, 18, who received a U Open wild card and is one of the brightest black prospects.